Nehum 1 7. Tov Adonai, Lema Oz Vayom Tsara, Ve Yodea Jose Bo. Nehum 1 7 translates fully like this as we begin Good, good is the Lord. And we have to supply the is there as a stronghold in the day of distress, and one who knows those who take refuge in him. Nahum 1.7 opens with a comforting declaration in light of the mountains melting and everything else we've seen in the previous verses. Good is the Lord. This verbless clause gets right to the point. Good, Yahweh. We have to supply, as I mentioned a moment ago, the to be verb, but I love how succinct Hebrew can be. The Lord is good, period. In the next phrase, I take the lamed here as marking an accusative, indicating the status in which Yahweh is good. So I translate it as. The Lord is good. He exists as a stronghold on the day of distress. The bait preposition here is temporal, not locative. It's not as if the stronghold is located on top of the day of distress. It's uh, like us saying, I teach Hebrew on Tuesdays. I teach Hebrew Tuesday. That's a temporal bait. The final clause has two participles, the first describing Yahweh, and the second, those who respond to his status as a stronghold. The first participle is the call participle masculine singular of the root yada, meaning uh, the one who knows. Participles often express present tense indicative verbs, so we could have here just simply he knows. The second participle is the call participle masculine plural construct of the root chasa, meaning to take refuge. The place where they take refuge is in him. So we get finally in that last clause, he knows those who take refuge in him.